The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. It never ceases to amaze me, we all love ourselves more than other people but care more about their opinions than our own. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. The opinion of 10,000 men is of no value if none of them know anything about the subject. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Think of all the years passed by in which you said to yourself I'll do it tomorrow, and how the gods have again and again granted you periods of grace of which you have not availed yourself. It is time to realize that you are a member of the universe, that you are born of nature itself, and to know that a limit has been set to your time. Use every moment wisely, to perceive your inner effulgence, or it will be gone and never more within your reach. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Live a good life. If there are gods and they are just, then they will not care how devout you have been but will welcome you based on the virtues you have lived by. If there are gods, but unjust, then you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods, then you will be gone, but will have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. You always own the option of having no opinion. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. Do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. Give yourself a gift, the present moment. Whoever values peace of mind and the health of the soul will live the best of all possible lives. Say to yourself in the early morning, I shall meet today ungrateful, violent, treacherous, envious, uncharitable men. All of these things have come upon them through ignorance of really good and ill. I can neither be harmed by any of them, for no man will involve me in wrong, nor can I be angry with my kinsman or hate him, for we have come into the world to work together. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question, what fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. Death smiles at us all, all a man can do is smile back. Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together but do so with all your heart. Both happiness and unhappiness depend on perception. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. Past and future have no power over you. Just the present, and even that can be minimized. The secret of all victory lies in the organization of the non-obvious. No one was ever injured by the truth, but he who persists in self-deception and ignorance is injured. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present.
Live your life as if you are ready to say goodbye to it at any moment, as if the time left for you were some pleasant surprise. If someone can prove me wrong and show me my mistake in any thought or action, I shall gladly change. I seek the truth, which never harmed anyone, the harm is to persist in one's own self-deception and ignorance. If any man despises me, that is his problem. My only concern is not doing or saying anything deserving of contempt. Imagine you were now dead or had not lived before his moment. Now view the rest of your life as a bonus. Most of what we say and do is not essential. If you can eliminate it, you'll have more time, and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Our anger and annoyance are more detrimental to us than the things themselves which anger or annoy us. Nothing that goes on in anyone else's mind can harm you. When you need encouragement, think of the qualities the people around you have this one's energy, that one's modesty, another's generosity, and so on. Nothing is as encouraging as when virtues are visibly embodied in the people around us, when we're practically showered with them. It's good to keep this in mind. If it is not right do not do it, if it is not true do not say it. What we do in life ripples in eternity. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Very little is needed to make a happy life, it is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Don't be ashamed to need help. Like a soldier storming a wall, you have a mission to accomplish. And if you've been wounded and you need a comrade to pull you up, so what? Always bear this in mind, that very little indeed is necessary for living a happy life. Adapt yourself to the life you have been given, and truly love the people with whom destiny has surrounded you. Life is short. Do not forget about the most important things in our life, living for other people and doing good for them. I'm going to be meeting with people today who talk too much, people who are selfish, egotistical, ungrateful. But I won't be surprised or disturbed, for I can't imagine a world without such people. Why should we feel anger at the world? As if the world would notice? Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. I, who have never willfully pained another, have no business to pain myself. Our life is what our thoughts make it. The happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others, the happiness of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control, but the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. The inner master, when confronted with an obstacle, uses it as fuel, like a fire which consumes things that are thrown into it. A small lamp would be snuffed out, but a big fire will engulf what is thrown at it and burn hotter, it consumes the obstacle and uses it to reach a higher level. The most complete revenge is not to imitate the aggressor. A man's true greatness lies in the consciousness of an honest purpose in life, founded on a just estimate of himself and everything else, on frequent self-examinations, and a steady obedience to the rule which he knows to be right, without troubling himself about what others may think or say, or whether they do or do not that which he thinks and says and does. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set, and you with it. 
so much worse are the consequences of anger than its causes. Your task is to stand straight, not to be held straight. When another blames you or hates you, or people voice similar criticisms, go to their souls, penetrate inside, and see what sort of people they are. You will realize that there is no need to be racked with anxiety that they should hold any particular opinion about you. To understand the true quality of people, you must look into their minds, and examine their pursuits and aversions. A man's true delight is to do the things he was made for. You have to assemble your life yourself, action by action. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.